Hi, welcome to your North Point by Jayco. Luxury 387 RDFS. We're going to do your tour and we're going to start on the outside of the trailer. And when we do so, we're going to start here right at the front. So this unit is equipped with a optional generator. Uh, it can be equipped with a, a generator, it's optional, and it, at this point does not have it. That would go here. Uh, we have your batteries, storage, and connection points here, and then there is room for more. Next we'll come to the nice loading light and your breakaway control. The breakaway control will engage the brakes of the trailer if you become detached from the your tow vehicle. The uh, tow vehicle pulls away from the trailer, it pulls this pin out, and then the uh, brakes are engaged. Now if you find it's not towing right, the brakes seem stuck on, it could be that the pin is pulled partially out. So just make sure that it is in where it's supposed to be. We also have your electrical connection to the trailer here. So moving on, we'll show you. You have those fancy lights. Right there. And up there, and those are controlled via these switches here. Next, we'll come along. We have your propane storage. There are two 40 pound bottles on this side, and there's actually a third 40 pound bottle on the other side that is also hooked up to its own regulator. Uh, in this compartment here though, we have your two 40 pound bottles with a crossover regulator. What that means is this regulator, you point it to this tank, it's going to draw from this tank first. And what's going to happen is it will cross over and draw from this tank after this one empties. Now it'll do that automatically, you don't have to switch and tell it to do it. So that's kind of neat. Also in this compartment that you might not notice right away, we have two things that are important. We have your auto leveling system right here. Uh, in order to, after it's been off for a little while, in order to engage it, you must press and hold the two, the up and down arrow at the same time. Then the green light will come on solid and you're able to operate the, uh, operate the uh, self leveling. We also have over here your instructions for the self-leveler. Pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory. In this compartment that is of importance, we also have the battery disconnect. Moving along, go to the next compartment. Here we have very large climate-controlled storage. We have your power cord for your 50 amp uh, service, 36 feet of it. We also have your adapters for different, whether 30 amp to 15 amp power cords. We have your hose with spray nozzle for your uh, connect water connection that is right here. Then we have your stabilize your uh, crank handle. Uh, everything like that you need. We also have on the far side, which I will show you, is uh, as a shop vac uh, connection. This compartment is lit. So the important part here, a really important part, is this area here. Water filter. We have the 
controls for the valves for your black water, gray water, both gray water tanks. We have your solar ready solar panel hookup here. And there's also uh, solar connections on the roof as well. Now this does a good job. There's a lot of good diagrams to explain how to hook or have these uh, all these dials and valves turn for whichever purpose. Uh, the most common is the steady water connection. So you have white handle, blue handle, black these two up. So right now it's ready for a city water connection. And then you're winterizing. But it's pretty straightforward. Um, use this inlet for everything but the tank flush, which you use this for. Uh, we have connection for your water pump right here, so you don't have to go inside. Let's have satellite cable and an auxiliary hookup here. And here's your uh, spray nozzle. You can use it like a like a regular garden hose at home. We also have a nice light in here. Okay, moving on. We go to the outside of the hot water tank. So this unit is winterized. Of note, an important note would be the drain plug, which is here. Uh, this means it's winterized, so the plug is out, but normally you'd have it in there. Now before you remove the plug, the other important piece is this pressure relief valve. Open that up, like so. And then take out the uh, drain plug, otherwise that drain plug will shoot out of there like a, like a shot. Alright. Now we'll come to your SantaCon. So the SantaCon has instructions uh, for winterizing and for just general use. Uh, it's stored in here. The switch for it is here. Uh, if you're going to use the SantaCon, then you want to make sure this is closed, this valve is closed, it is this valve right here on the back of this. So it's right back here. That is the one that you need to have open in order for the SantaCon to uh, function properly. All right, continuing along, we come to the venting for your refrigerator. Uh, the important part to note here is that this isn't obstructed in any way as you need airflow through here in order for the fridge to function properly. So we'll continue along. We'll come to your storage compartment in the back here. Very big. This one isn't climate controlled. The other one was mostly because there's a lot of plumbing in there and it needs to stay warm. This is just a nice big open space. If you have kids or guests, you can stick them in here. Just joking, don't do that. They probably wouldn't like it. But it is really big, so you can theoretically. We'll come along to the very back. More storage here. Here we have your tarp to cover the trailer when it's in storage. And this is a, this storage compartment actually has three doors. That one's locked. I won't bother unlocking it, but it just opens up to the same thing. We have your park power, 50 amp. And I showed you the conversion there, the adapters, so you can go to 30 and 15 amps. Uh, up here we have security lights, so you'll see those. We have ladder access to the roof. We have that same storage compartment, just the other side. Continue along. Show you the under awning speakers. They are controlled from the stereo inside the unit. Here we have.
of your third propane tank. Its own regulator. So three forty pound bottles should keep you going pretty good. And the last thing I want to show you is in this compartment here. Bear with me, I must unlock it. So it just opens up to the other one on the other side. The reason why I want to open this side specifically as well is a couple things. It has your satellite cable TV and a GFCI plug connection. So you can have a TV under your awning. It has over here the bags you need for your shop bag, but it also has your shop bag here. So there's the vacuum port. Vacuum's in the trailer. Pretty handy little uh, feature. That does it for most of the outside. You can see your awning lights are on. Let us go in. See your neat little I believe, accent light by the stairs. Kind of a cool way to light your way. So immediately when you come through the door, I want to show you a couple things. We have your carbon monoxide uh, CO um, detector and propane detector. There's a button right there on the front. I recommend pressing that every so often just to make sure it's functioning properly. Uh, what I would like to do is uh, normally the time it was when you change the batteries in the smoke detector. So every six months is usually the easiest way. Daylight savings time. Uh, good time to uh, do your claw, do your uh, smoke detector at the same time as you press the button there just to make sure it's uh, functioning. So also here we have a shot back kick plate. So what this does is when you kick this up, it will engage the vacuum and you can sweep any debris into it. So don't have any dirt here because we clean this, but it's going to get loud. I'm going to There, sorry about the noise, but that shows you how that works. Here is the regular port for the shop vac. This works uh, by connection when you plug the hose in. Continue on in. We've got your fire extinguisher for the unit. We have the controls for your thermostat and for your power vent. Also have USB connectivity, charge your phones there. However, the brains of the operation right here. So we have the indication lights for your gray and black water tanks, your battery, your fresh water. Um, if you had a generator, it would show you the generator hours. Uh, it has everything in here, ceiling lights, hot water tank on electric and gas. You have a starter for the generator, if you had it. You have the water, the water pump switch, excuse me. And we have your lights, island lights, upper accent, lower accent. So all the uh, lights can be controlled here. Exterior lights, security lights. We also have all your slide uh, power and your awning in and out. Now, that can also be accessed here, this nice touch screen. So you can see the way it comes up. If you're ever faced with this screen, which sometimes happens, but or you might want to go to it, have frequently asked questions, uh, you have your search, your owner's manuals, troubleshooting videos, all sorts of stuff. These are provided by Jayco, not us. Uh, if you ever find yourself in this screen, you want to click on the first one. It says My Control Panel. Then that brings you to your RV specific stuff. So, My RV is what brings you back to here. So Control Panel, 
opens it all up so you can control your awning from here. So it comes up awning one if you have more than one awning. You press the down arrow and it says plus minus. Minus brings it in, plus brings it out. That's the same for all of them. Okay, you can do your leveling. You can do your lights. You can turn them all on, turn them all off. You can do them sections at a time. So it's pretty neat. You've got your slide control here as well. Same idea, hit the down arrow, it opens it up. Plus brings it out, minus brings it in. So it's pretty, uh, pretty neat little feature. Anyway, let's take a look at the rest of the uh, main area of the trailer. Very nice, nice unit to feel like you're at home. Come to your fridge, you have turn the power on, You this button here will set the temperature. We have the switch between electric or gas. Uh, your stove, again, fairly self-explanatory. Uh, but we'll give you a little rundown. The blue flame is the light position and then you press this to light. So you do that for all of those. This one is a little different. When you turn it on, you turn it on and press and hold. And it automatically sparks it when you press and hold it, so you don't have to press the, uh, the sparker. So one thing I want to note here, um, specifically, because we just winterized this in this specific unit for your trailer here uh, the there is an ice dispenser well we winterized it so in order to do so we turned off the water to the to the fridge uh, the unfortunate part is there's your stove there's the little drawer underneath there's a little black tab here you have to pull down and at the same time this other little black tab you pull up and then you do those at the same time you pull the drawer out and at the very back you can see the white hose that comes that provides the water you actually can't see the shutoff but if you run your hands up the hose you'll feel the, the shutoff it's just you turn it one way or the other and it opens and closes right now that is shut off because we've winterized it. So if you wanted to use the ice maker in the freezer, that water line will have to be opened up and then it'll function as it should. Nice pantry, light controlled from here. Lots of storage. Open your living room. We have power uh, control recliners, so they recline with power. You can see that there. All done by these here. There's a light. There is heat and a massager. Both sides have that. There's also a lock that you can set so that they can't you don't hit it. Your uh, ottoman, we put it up there because that's just good to show you. This is the way you should have the uh, ottoman, the stool, for travel. And when you close these two slides, they close up in the middle. Uh, pretty neat feature here if you're looking for your TV. This button on the wall. Hello, TV. Pretty cool. So that's where your TV is if you're looking for it. We have all your regular hookups and connectivity otherwise in here. Your stereo that I was talking about. It has multiple zones. Uh, zone 1, 2, and 3. Uh, zones 1 and 2 are inside the trailer and zone 3 is the outside. We're on those speakers under the awning that I showed you. 
Got more uh, phone charging capabilities there with the USB. And then a roof vent. This one isn't power. Uh, and your smoke detector, which is there, what I mentioned earlier. Uh, when you do change the battery, it's a good idea to uh, also test your carbon monoxide detector, propane detector. All right. So as we're coming back through, I noticed I forgot to show you your control panel here. Sorry, your uh, power center. We have all your breakers. We have all your fuses. If you ever have any uh, problems with power, that's a good place to start. And in here we have your internet, your passwords and everything in here, your connectivity for your uh, trailer Wi-Fi. And took me a while to find this. Here is the switch for your hall light right there on the floor. So continuing on, your bathroom. Have your main GFCI for the unit, so that is a good thing. The uh, GFCI, if it's tripped, you might not get power to some of your plugs, especially any plugs in your water or on the outside of the trailer. So if you aren't getting power to, you know, any counter plugs or any outside plugs, I would check to see if that's been tripped. And there's a little reset button that you can press, and it resets the, uh, the GFCI plugs, and all your other ones should work as well. We have your bedroom, which has a separate air condition here. And you can also control the slide in and out from here. That way you can see, see the slide. Um, we have two light switches, one for the main lights and one for some accent lighting, night light maybe, if you're afraid of the dark. <laughs> We have your emergency exit here. Press down on the black tab, push the red handle over, push the window out, remove the screen, you can escape to safety. Be aware this is a big trailer. It's a bit of a drop down there. Have your uh, fancy closet, automatic lights when you open the door. Pretty nice, really big. We also have connectivity for a washing machine and a dryer, so that's pretty neat. Everything's all ready to go, including the drain here. We also have some lights over the bed. They're on a dimmer, so I just press it to turn it on and off. Press and hold to turn it up, press and hold to dim it down, and then just tap it again to turn it off. Pretty neat. Here we have your 12 volt uh, power for uh, anything 12 volt you might need, and we also have more USB charging. So that about does it new trailer I hope you enjoy enjoy it this is a this is a nice trailer so if I missed anything on you I apologize but feel free to uh, give us a call and uh, we'll try to answer any questions you might have congratulations and enjoy your new trailer <laughs>